everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting yet another October weekend reading vlog. So I hope you guys are excited. I definitely am. I filmed one last weekend and I had like the best time. So hopefully I will also be having the best time this weekend. This week was a lot, frankly. So I'm like taking the weekend off. I'm just going to chill. I'm going to do some reading. I'm going to go on some autumnal walks. I'm going to just hang out with my friends. Just, you know, chill stuff because that's that's what I need right now so I do have like a theme of sorts for this vlog and that is going to be like mainly witchy books and then I also want to watch Hocus Pocus 2 which obviously has witches in it I'm really excited to see what I think of it I've seen a lot of really good reviews for it so I'm excited to watch that as well and yeah that's honestly like where the witchiness <laughs> ends but it was like like, it's kind of witchy, you know? I'm, yeah, you know. So, quickly, let's talk about the reading plans for this week. So, first of all, I do have two witchy books that I want to read. First of all, we have The Wicked Deep by Shay Earnshaw. This takes place in this town where, like, three witches were executed, like, 200 years ago. And now there's, like, a curse on this town, and it is affecting people there now. And I love books that are set in small towns with curses on them. Like, yes, absolutely, like, my favorite setting for a story. So I'm very excited about this one, and I'm really excited to finally dive into some of Shay Earnshaw's writing. I did read Long Live the Pumpkin Queen last weekend, but I feel like that's kind of, like, a different vibe from what her normal writing will be like, so I'm really excited to jump into this one and see how I feel about it. I think I'm really gonna enjoy it. And then the other witchy book I have is The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. This book was kindly gifted to me by Darcy, so thank you so much, Darcy. I'm so excited to read this book this weekend as well. I think I saw a lot of people reading it last year, because I think it came out last year. And I saw so many people enjoying it. I think there's also like a sequel. I don't, I don't know if it's exactly a sequel, but there's like another book in, it, it looks like this, so I'm thinking it's a sequel, not sure. But if I like this one, I could go get that one, maybe. I really don't have a good grasp on what this book is about, to be honest. I know in this world, witches have magic that's like tied to the seasons and our main character is called an ever witch, maybe? I think she might, uh, I don't know. She basically has magic tied to like all four of the seasons because obviously she's a main character and she's special. So I'm really excited for this. Also, it is blurbed by Shay Earnshaw in the back. So that's fun. Um perfect witchy reads for this weekend. I'm really excited about both of them. And then the book where I kind of deviate from the theme of this vlog, which I was not originally anticipating reading this book this weekend, but I started it last night and I'm like, I need to read more of this book right now. And it's not good, like it's so bad, but I'm having such a good time reading it. It's very entertaining. I will give it that, I'm entertained. But last night I started reading the first book in the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. And like, there's so many issues <laughs> with this book, honestly, but it's also very entertaining. So I'm like 33% of the way through it, I think. I can't stop reading. It's such a fast read as well, which I really appreciate. I, my main problem is like, I don't like her main character. <laughs> like Rose, I just find to be so annoying and she's so like, oh my God, I'm so edgy. Like nobody gets me. I don't want to freaking be here. And I'm, I'm over her, frankly. I, mm, not into it. But I like the setting of this book a lot, and I like their magic system that they have. I guess some of them, like, they're not considered witches. I don't... what are they called? I don't know. But they do have, like, elemental magic, which is kind of cool, so light witchy vibes, I guess. But it's entertaining, and with the show coming out recently, I've seen so many people talking about it. So if I like that enough, maybe I'll watch the show. I don't know if I watch that this weekend. Just, like, in general, I think I might watch the show. So I think that'll be fun, but those are, like, my three reading plans for this weekend. Hopefully I can finish all three of them. I don't know. We'll have to see, but I think it might be possible. So that'll be really fun. So right now it's like two o'clock on Friday. So it is the weekend for me and I'm so excited. One of my friends is going to come over at like 6.30ish and we're going to paint some pumpkins, which obviously I will show you that as well. Probably put on a spooky movie in the background, just something fun. And I'm really excited about that. I I just love any pumpkin related activity. So, and then tomorrow morning, me and Cass have some rooting sprints that we're doing, which is also gonna be a really good time. But I think before that, I might go on like a walk, maybe. I think I might try and wake up early and go on a walk before those happen, just because I love a good crisp fall morning. And the mornings are so crisp right now and the trees look beautiful that I cannot pass up this opportunity. So definitely, 
definitely very excited about that. And then aside from that, I don't really have a lot of plans this weekend. So hopefully I can finish this little TBR I have going on here. I think I might also do some journaling because I got like some fun paper recently, which I really want to use for the Halloween season. So that'll be fun. And with that, I think I have told you everything I was planning to tell you in this intro. So I would ideally like to finish Vampire Academy this afternoon. I feel like that's very doable. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna start reading. <laughs> hours later and I'm now like two-thirds of the way through Vampire Academy and my feelings are very much the same on the book as a whole like it's not good but it is good and I I just love things that like aren't good but I still think are like fun you know so it's definitely entertaining I like the storyline I don't love Rose I feel like she has undergone some character development though in the last 100 pages which it happened like kind of quickly but at the same time I'm glad it happened quickly because I could not stand her for a while there but I feel like she's kind of coming into to her role a little bit and not being so reckless and irritating in general so that's good. Again, there are like a decent amount of things in this book that I don't love. A couple of things are like just kind of problematic, but aside from those, um, the most glaring one being the fact that Rose is only 17 and Dimitri is 24, but we won't talk about it. Um, I like it. Like definitely feeling like a three stars. And at this point, I definitely think I'm going to be continuing the series after I finish this one up because why not you know like i'm interested enough in the story that i definitely want to see where it goes so that's exciting found a new rather long series to start because i think it's like six books or seven somewhere around there so that's kind of fun but aside from that i don't really have any other thoughts on it to be honest like that's it that's all i got so it's like four o'clock now so i do still have like a couple more hours that i can potentially read for so i'm going to hopefully finish up vampire academy will let you know final thoughts when i get there also i do have a quick review for you guys <laughs> i got these haribo sour vampire bats a while ago and like they're not that good to be honest but at the same time I'd probably give them like a seven like some of them i'd give a seven there's ones that have like green wings those are delicious but the others like this red one for some reason, it's giving me like a minty aftertaste, and I don't like that, frankly. So there's my candy review for the day. If you want some subpar but really cutely shaped candy, there you go. Anyway, I'm gonna go finish reading Vampire Academy, and I'll talk to you then. just finished Vampire Academy and honestly the ending of it was kind of fun like it was kind of interesting I was gripped I wanted to know what was gonna happen I think overall I'd give it like a three stars maybe that's being kind of generous although at the same time I did like enjoy my time reading it so I feel like a three stars maybe that's fair I don't know like there's just so many <laughs> so many issues with like the writing and but it was still like a decent time you know what i'm saying definitely will be reading the second one honestly maybe this weekend i might i'm gonna see if i can borrow it hang on oh i can all right 
<laughs> so I just borrowed the second one, which is Frostbite, which I will definitely, definitely be reading. Although the first book, it kind of seemed like it could be a standalone almost. Like there were a couple of loose threads, which is like relationships, but the way it was wrapping up and everything we were like finding out about people at the end of the book, I was like, was this originally a standalone? And then it got expanded into a series? I don't know, but I want to read more of it obviously i thought it was a fun time so yeah there's vampire academy anyway it's like 5 30 right now so i have like an hour until my friend comes over i don't know what i'm gonna do until then though we'll just get into the pumpkin painting And good morning. How are we all doing? Frankly, I'm doing great because I went to Starbucks again and I got the same drink that I got last weekend because it's so good. It's a venti iced chai with pumpkin cream cold foam. Gotta get the chai with oat milk though because it's scrumptious that way. I also got a good old ham and Swiss croissant because they are also scrumptious. So definitely gonna be eating that when I go home. So like I said, it is Saturday morning. It's like nine-ish right now and I just went for a nice little walk. It was really cute. The leaves gorgeous honestly i wish i could do them justice like in a vlog but it just like it never matches up with what i'm seeing with my eyes and <laughs> it's just so pretty i love it so much although it was like 35 when i woke up so it was so cold it was maybe a little too crisp honestly but it did warm up and then it was really nice like right now it's like 45 it's nice and crisp. I do have a couple of reading updates for you guys, both of which I'm really excited about because I'm really enjoying them so far. So first of all, last night I did start reading Frostbite, which is the second book in the Vampire Academy series, just because I wanted something like quick and fun to read like just a little bit of before I went to bed and that seemed like a good option. And I think it's gonna be fun. I think I'm like 15% of the way through it now. They literally read so quickly. And I think they're about to go to like a ski lodge type of situation, which honestly sounds really fun. So I'm excited to see where that book goes. I don't know if I'll end up finishing it this weekend, but also I feel like it might be possible just because they're like addictive, honestly. Like I just, I just gotta keep flipping, you know? So that's been really fun so far. And then also on my walk, I started my audiobook for The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. I got like half an hour into it and then my AirPods died because they're like five years old and can't hold a charge anymore is very unfortunate but i did enjoy the half hour that i listened to we're kind of being introduced to our main character clara who i said yesterday i think has like control over all four seasonal based element no seasonal i think you i, I explained it yesterday she can basically control the magic that's like tied to all four seasons when normally witches can only control one So we're definitely getting like some background on her character and why she's like so angsty right now And honestly, I'm really enjoying seeing like all of the the seasonal Aspects of this book because right now I think they just went into autumn and her like feelings and mood kind of change with like the changing of the seasons Because she's so connected to them and I think it's really interesting because she had this guy that she like kind of had a little thing with but when it changed from summer to autumn her feelings also changed so she's like not into him anymore 
but I'm going to assume that at some point in this book there's gonna be a romance I think there's one so obviously somebody's got to stick I don't know who it is but I'm excited for that aspect as well love a good angsty romance so I'm also really excited to read that one as well my goal is definitely gonna be to finish maybe that one and frostbite today I feel like that's very doable because I literally don't have any plans for today I mean I do have some reading sprints that I'm doing with Cass in like 40 minutes ish but that's still like reading so I think I might read frostbite while we do those just because I like something that like goes quickly while we're doing reading sprints so definitely gonna make some progress in that <laughs> I'm very excited about it and yeah, it's honestly like every day that I start off with a walk in the beautiful fall leaves is a good day. So I hope you all are also having a really good day. If you're not and you have the opportunity, please go for a walk. It's like my favorite thing ever. It always just makes me feel so like at peace. And that's what I, that's really what I needed, all right? So I'm going to go back to my apartment. I'm gonna read maybe a little bit more Frostbite. And then, like I said, our sprints are in like 40 minutes, so I'll do those. And I will update you guys with whatever progress I've made after that. So, fun plans for the morning. We just got done with our live sprints. Mm -hmm. They were extremely fun and extremely chaotic as per usual. And extremely long. And we talked about oatmeal for seven of those. Oh yeah, really riveting so. content, honestly. Absolutely. All right, hello everybody. It is quite a bit later, it's like 2.05. We were literally doing our sprints for, for like three and a half hours and we only read for like an hour of that. We, I don't know, like me and Cass, when we start talking, we literally don't stop. So I read a little bit more of Frostbite and I'm now up to 37% of the way through the book. And it's honestly like kind of slow. Like I'm not hating it, but it's just, I don't know. Something I was going to bring up earlier, but I just forgot about it. But as I was reading this again, I was like, hmm. Um, I feel like the the magic system almost in this book isn't super well explained because I didn't realize until the very beginning of, I don't know why I'm holding this up, Frostbite, that like all three of the types of people that we've been introduced to, like the Strigoi, the Moray, Morai, <laughs> and the, I don't know, I can't pronounce any of them frankly, but all of them are types of vampires and I feel like that was never prefaced or I managed to like skip over that one sentence because I didn't realize that. I was like, are they vampires? Why is it called Vampire Academy? I was so confused and I, I feel like that it's probably on me, but I just thought that was kind of funny, honestly. But anyway, there's my update on Frostbite for now. Definitely, I think I'm going to be able to finish it this weekend, but I got some mail and I ended up opening it earlier while I was on FaceTime with Cass because she sent me a book of my Amazon wishlist because <laughs> she said, sorry, you've been having a rough week. Here's hoping it gets better. I miss you, XOXO from frat boy Jason, keyboardless Cass, which I will not elaborate on, but it's so funny. But the book she sent me, it's so pretty. This is Foul Lady Fortune by Chloe Gong. This is like the first book in a duology, I think. It's kind of a spin-off series of sorts from These Violent Delights, which I haven't read These Violent Delights, but it is our Wyverns and Words book club pick for October. But I think I'm gonna like it, and then obviously I will read These Violent Ends, but even if I don't end up liking it that much, the concept of this one intrigues me enough that I will like be picking this up no matter what, so... It was literally so sweet of her to send it to me. And it's really funny because I also sent her a book off of her Amazon wishlist. We're so in sync, you know? So that was really fun. And I just like, look at it. It's so pretty. It's so pink. Whoever did the cover design for this book, an icon truly. So that's kind of the update that I have for you guys. So my plans for the rest of the day literally just include reading, honestly. I definitely want to make some progress in the nature of witches. Ideally, I'd like to finish it. And then if I can finish this one, I would also like to finish Frostbite. I feel like that's the kind of thing I could do because this one I think is gonna be really fun. And then Frostbite just reads so quickly. Like I, that's gonna be my goal for today. So yeah, I just really like, I wanna consume all of the books in October. So I'm gonna make that my goal for this weekend, I guess. So if I finish those, obviously I'll be 
reading The Wicked Deep tomorrow, and then maybe I'll start the third book in the Vampire Academy series. Is this sounding ambitious? Yeah, but I'd like to just see how much reading I can get in this weekend because it's just like, it's all I want to do right now. And I'm just gonna roll with that. So I'm gonna go make some lunch because I'm very hungry. And then I'm gonna get into the nature of witches. So let's go. of witches and i'm finally starting to see like where the plot's gonna go and we've been introduced to this character who i think has like maybe love interest potential and i'm loving the dynamic already and i think the plot is gonna be really fun and i'm <laughs> i'm very excited about this one like i think i'm really going to end up liking this book i already really like our main character clara and I think the magic system, like I said earlier, is really cool. I love how this book is also just like a commentary on, you know, like environmentalism in like the actual, like the real world and stuff, you know? I think I'm really gonna, I think I'm gonna love this book, honestly. Like I have high hopes for this, so very excited. Also, if anybody wants my candy review for today, I had these Swedish fish. I love Swedish fish. Maybe this is a controversial opinion, but I would give Swedish Fish a 10 out of 10. Like, they're so good. And I just feel like not a lot of people like Swedish Fish. But my hot take for the day is that they are one of my favorite candies. So there's that. <laughs> anyway, it's like 3.40 right now. And I just wanted to give you guys some quick initial thoughts and feelings on, like, how I'm feeling about the setup for the plot. Because I feel like this is the turning point. We're actually going to, like, get into the plot for the book. So I'm so excited. Basically, I'm just going to sit down and read more. That's it. That's all I got. So, yeah, let's let's read some more. So I've made it up to page 199 and we're entering into like another part of the book. So we're entering into spring, so that's fun. But oh my god, I love this book. It is so good. Just the writing and the relationship and the magic and the plot. I just love it. Like it's so fun. I'm having the best time reading this book and I... Wow, I feel like it's definitely gonna be a four or five stars. Probably leaning towards five at this point, honestly. So that is so exciting, and I'm so happy that I'm enjoying this book this much. I think I'm definitely going to have to go to Barnes & Noble tomorrow and pick up, I think it's called Wild as the Witch, and it's not like a sequel or anything. It's not, well, like, it's kind of related, I think, but I think they're both, like, standalones in their own right, if that makes sense, um, because I think it follows just, like, completely different characters, so... I like just based on Rachel Griffin's writing alone, I need more of it. So definitely going to be picking that one up just because I love this book so far. It's so fun. Um, let's see what's kind of happened. 
honestly, I feel like a lot has gone down. Like, it's a pretty fast-paced book. I haven't really found myself, like, getting bored. I don't really think it's dragging in any places. I also really like, at the beginning of all of the chapters, there's kind of, like, these little excerpts from... Something called a season for everything. I don't know if that's like, you know, a book within like this world or it's like an actual book, not sure. But I love them because they give you like a little precursor as to what the chapter is about almost if you kind of like read into it. And I love things like that. I think in all of or most of Cassandra Clare's books, they're all started with like excerpts from like books maybe i'm not sure if it's just like the infernal devices in the last hours that do that or if it's like all of her series but it's really fun because you can kind of like read that kind of dissect it and get like an idea of what might be going down in the chapter but like you don't really know you know but i think that's just fun so yeah i'm just having the best time i cannot wait to read the rest of this honestly i had to bust out some of my tabs because the two like main characters well like we have one main character and then like a love interest i love them so much like their relationship is precious frankly and i i love them so much so that's also like definitely contributing to my enjoyment of this book and yeah i need to finish this like right now honestly so <laughs> It's like six, so I'm gonna sit down and I'm going to read the rest of this book. And then after I finish this, I'm either gonna watch Hocus Pocus or I'm going to read Frostbite, like the rest of it. I'm not sure though. However, I will let you know once I decide. everybody it is sunday morning it's like 10 o'clock and i just went for another walk i did go to a different trail today which was like a little bit less visually interesting than the one that i went on yesterday but it was still like a very nice walk i do have a couple of reading updates for you guys first of all i finished the nature of witches by rachel griffin and i think i'm gonna give this one like a 4.5 my only issue with it is the fact that the plot is incredibly like it's really easy to figure out where it's gonna go and what's gonna happen, which I didn't like necessarily mind. And considering it is like a debut novel, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense, you know? So that's the only reason why I'm really knocking it a half star because I loved the rest of it. I really loved her writing most of all. The way she described the seasons and their magic and how it worked, it was honestly like beautiful. I loved reading it. And there's like a relationship in it that was so cute. I literally love them so much and yeah it was just a really good time definitely if you're looking for like a fun fast witchy read I would recommend I literally read it basically in two sittings yesterday I really couldn't stop reading it's also a really easy read so definitely would recommend The Nature of Witches I'm really excited to pick up her next book which is Wild as the Witch I think definitely I might go get it today potentially or i might wait to get it like next weekend or something not sure at any rate i do want to pick it up soon and then i also have an update on frostbite for you guys i am 63 percent of the way through frostbite right now i sat down last night i got comfy i was like i'm gonna sit here finish this book and then i'm gonna go to sleep and then i promptly fell asleep like 10 minutes later so that did not happen but definitely will be finishing it today i'm really hoping i can finish this one and the wicked deep today i don't know if that's gonna happen though because i also still want to watch hocus pocus so like i'm not we'll see how it goes honestly like i have i have no plans i don't even know but i i'm kind of bored honestly while reading frostbite it's like it's kind of fun, but at the same time, I think Rose is kind of back to being annoying, and I'm... I don't know. But I looked up a list. Here's a here's a story about me being dumb again. Uh, I looked up a list of, like, the books ranked, because I was like, am I alone in thinking this is bad, or is this just, like, the worst one in the series and I need to push through it? You know what I'm saying? So, 
I looked at the list. Frostbite was six out of six. So I was like, okay, I will push through this book so I can like read the rest of them, you know? But then I was scrolling through the list because I was like, I want to know which one is number one, obviously. And in my head, I was like, this is a bad idea. I'm going to see something. And then I did see something and I'm like, what? Like, I'm pr I'm not, like, 100% sure that the thing that I'm thinking is what I saw, but I'm, like, 99% sure that I saw the right thing, and I was like, no way. I was kind of hitting myself, but at the same time, I now really want to read the rest of them just because I need to see how that plays out. Like, I'm so... I... I was shocked. I was gobsmacked when I saw it, frankly. Like, this is just another lesson for me to stay off of the internet <laughs> because I've spoiled myself for so many series, okay? Not all of them are my fault, but for the most part, they are my fault, so. Anyway, I don't really have, like, much else to say about Frostbite, honestly. I feel like not a lot's gone on. The one thing I will say is, like, there's this other older guy that, like, is interested in Rose, and I'm like, when will she get- I mean, I guess- okay, so she does have a boyfriend, I guess, that is her age, but I know that this is not who she's gonna end up with. Like, there's no way. I- it, like, it's just not happening. But I just want to know why all of the options are in their 20s and Rose is 17. Like, what's that about? I- it's questionable. It's incredibly questionable, but- I have decided that I will definitely be watching this show at some point in time. Like, I really want to see how the adaptation is. I'll probably watch the movie at some point in time, too. I know there was a movie. I don't know if either of them are that good. I feel like I haven't heard that the movie's very good, but I feel like I've heard decent things about the show. I don't know. At any rate, I love a good adaptation, good or bad, to be honest, so I'm excited about that. I'll probably watch it, like, sometime this week, so this is awkward i'm sitting here in my car obviously filming this update and my next door neighbor whose apartment i'm literally like right in front of like i'm right in front of their door he walked out oh and then we made eye contact too <laughs> anyway it's fine just me embarrassing myself before noon again what's new anyway <laughs> So, what was I even talking about? It's like 10.30 now. I don't have a lot of plans for the day. I'm definitely just gonna like chill and hang out and read. I think I might do also another little journal spread. I need to update it a little bit as well. So, yeah. That's kind of the plan for today. AKA, there is no plan. So, I will... I'll talk to you guys probably when I finish Frostbite. So, yeah. Let's get into it. Hello everybody, it is a little bit later. I got back from Barnes & Noble and I decided to change into some comfier clothing. I love like that sweater with all of the strings on it, but the sleeves are so long and there are so many strings on it that it's kind of infuriating sometimes. So it had to go and I put on my fun Frankenstein Dracula sweatshirt just so we can have like a cozy chill rest of the day. First I thought I could show you the books that I have acquired today because one, I did go to Barnes Noble and pick up Wild as the Witch by Rachel Griffin. I honestly like don't know anything about this book. I did read the little blurb that's at the top of the dust jacket which says that this book is an immersive enemies to lovers contemporary fantasy standalone. So based on that, I don't need to know anything else and I don't think I'm gonna read the blurb for this book, honestly. Like I just wanna go in knowing nothing because I feel like it's just really fun doing that sometimes. So I don't know when I'm gonna get to this book, but hopefully soon. Also because I think this is like a first edition of one of these books, it has the really pretty naked hardcover on this and it is so cool. I love these colors. I'm really glad to have this one. And then I also got a little Amazon package and I already opened it because I have no self-control, but. So I picked up This Is Halloween, which is 10 Tales of Terror by Bram Stoker Award nominee, James A. Moore. So 
this is a short story collection of like Halloween spooky horror kind of stories. Oh, I love the last sentence of the blurb on the back. It says, tis the season when ghosts are real, witches soar through the night, and things in the bedlam woods are not always what they seem. Sometimes the monsters wear the masks. So that honestly just sounds really fun. And I... I would say I love a good short story collection, but I feel like I don't read a lot of short story collections. But I do really enjoy short story collections, and I like seeing what authors can do in, like, so few pages. So, I'm excited about this one. Also, like, the main thing that drew me in was the cover. I mean, look at this. And then we also kind of continue it on the back. I just, it's so cool. I love, like, I want a print of this almost. It's, I love the cover. But obviously, I'm still excited to read it as well. So, ooh. <laughs> that's kind of uh the mini book call that i have for you guys anyway it is like two o'clock now and i don't really have any plans at all for the day like i got nothing so i have two main goals one i really want to finish frostbite i think that's definitely doable i only have like an hour and a half maybe left in the book so that will be happening i think i'm going to try and finish that up first and then i'm going to watch hocus pocus 2 which i'm so excited about on my way back from barnes and noble i picked up more hot chocolate just because the one i had yesterday was delicious and i want another one and i thought that sounded really fun could get cozy watch my movie and i'm excited about that so yeah i feel like that's everything i needed to tell you i am gonna get reading and i will update you once i have finished frostbite I've just finished frostbite and I thought while I make myself some hot chocolate we could discuss how like what my thoughts were on the book so also before we get into it I want to show you this mug <laughs> I got this from I think Salvation Army a few weeks ago and it's so cute it's this little pumpkin mug and it's like ceramic-y anyways so like I said I just finished frostbite and I think I'm gonna give it a three stars originally like, if you were to ask me what I was going to rate it this morning, I'd probably say, like, a two. But the ending of the book and, like, the big, like, action kind of part of it was kind of interesting. And I thought it was just, okay, like, it wasn't fun um, because they literally got kidnapped. But it was kind of fun. But the thing that, like, was kind of making me laugh was Rose, our main character, came up with, like, this plan. And she was like, oh, my God, I can't believe I hadn't thought of it sooner. And I was like yeah me either because like they they were kidnapped which i don't think is like a, a huge spoiler you can definitely see it coming but two of them that like were in the group can like literally have magic and she came up with this like brilliant idea to have one of them use it i was like you didn't think to do this before now i mean i it's just so stupid and i know like in this world they're not supposed to use their magic defensively but if it's a life or death situation, why why is that not, like the first thing that that would come into your mind? I just don't get it. Um, but aside from that, it was really fun. I thought our main character Rose was such a badass in this book, and like normally, I do think she's kind of annoying. Like in these last few books, I've just been like, she's there. You know, I don't love her. I don't hate her. Towards the end of this book, she was really pulling out some moves. She was killing some Strigoi, and I was like, okay get it i was impressed and i i admire her in some aspects because she will like do whatever it takes to take care of lissa and just her friends in general and i really like that dedication so i definitely commend her for that but i feel like that's all i have to say about frostbite though to be honest like definitely a three star read and obviously i will be continuing the series i'll probably continue the series later tonight honestly like it's just fun it's fast i like having something that i can just like read on my phone sorry if you can hear me <laughs> mixing the because I have them like downloaded on Kindle, I can like read them on my phone. And one of my goals recently has been to like go on social media less. So every now and then when I'm like, I should go on Instagram, I'm like, hmm, what if I opened up Kindle and I read some of Vampire Academy? Because I definitely, if I'm gonna read something on my phone, it has to be gripping. It has to be something that like I'm entertained by. I have to want to read it really badly because I hate reading things on my phone, but it can be done. You know, it just really depends. Like. I think last year I read Shadow and Bone completely on my phone. 
um, just like going to and from places and it worked because it was like a fun series. I was having a good time with it. I was okay with reading it on my phone, but if it was like a book that I was only like kind of feeling, you know, like I was kind of bored by it, couldn't do it. But while Vampire Academy isn't great, it's really fun and I like reading it. So it's like, it's good to read on my phone, you know? You know. Ta-da. I feel like that's where I'm at with Vampire Academy. Definitely very excited to read the next book. Um, many questionable things are happening with Rose and Dimitri and frankly, like I don't like it. Like I can see how if Rose was of age, you know, I'd be like, yeah, Rose and Dimitri. But the fact that she's 17, I can't get over it. Like why? The, I, I guess the point is like forbidden love, but there's like two aspects that make it so that they shouldn't date. So I'm like, is one not good enough? Why'd you have to put in a weird age difference? I like, I really can't get over it. Like if that wasn't a thing, I'd be all for this series, but that's the, it's just, I don't like it. It's so weird. And they also acknowledge the fact that it's weird. So I'm like, if you as an author are acknowledging the fact that it's weird, then why are you still putting it in there? Anyway, I am going to watch Hocus Pocus 2, which I'm very excited about. Those are my plans for the rest of the day. And I will talk to you when I have an update about them. Hello everybody, it is the next day and I am indeed in a different location. I went home for the day because I need to like film some stuff and whatnot. But I did have an opportunity to pick up some mail, which I'm very excited about because finally I get to unbox the September Illumicrate box for you guys, which I'm so excited. So I'm going to do this and then I will end the vlog, but I honestly like can't wait to open this one. I've heard so many good things about all the stuff this month and I, I need scissors so I can open this, but I never have scissors so I can open this. Let us get into it. So the theme for September is Book Devourers, which I believe is the name of the book this month, which I'm, oh no, it's close to the name of the book this month, which I'm so excited about because the concept of the book this month sounds so fascinating and I'm so excited about it. So first of all, I know we have a book pot in here. I need, I need to see it now because I love their book pots. I think they're so cute. Ooh, this is cute. Ooh, I love the red. It's like a pinky red, almost. Okay, so this says an archive of great libraries. It's so pretty. I love their book pots so much. This is stunning, frankly. So, oh, it's kind of like Grecian, almost. And on the back of it, it says journeys through our greatest collections of knowledge. So that's so fun. Oh, we have ceramic plates, excuse me. Okay, I'll get to those in a second. First, I'm gonna open up whatever this is. Oh, I think I know what this is. This is like a book. It's not a crate, um, but like you put your books in it like that. Oh, this is pretty. I like the colors on it. Oh, there's a cat. Oh, that's cute. There's the cat. And there's also a little quote on it that says, where is human nature so weak as in the bookstore? If that ain't the truth, but <laughs> this is so pretty. Um, I love the design on it. I love all the plants. I love all the books. I'm a big fan. I'll just set that there. Next up, I want to open these. First of all, look at this pretty box. Big fan. Since these are reading prompt cards, so that's kind of fun. We have things like a book with a romance in it. We have a book inspired by mythology, a book set in winter, a book with a color in the title. All right, next up we have two ceramic plates, I'm thinking, which is really fun. I, oh, they're dishwasher safe too. Nice, I love some good, what's the word? Homeware, I guess. Ooh. Okay. Look at this. Very dark academia. Giving me those vibes. I th that's exactly the vibes it's supposed to be giving me, but this is so pretty. Oh my god. Okay, there's also another one, which I think is gonna have this design on it. And if that's the case, I will use it every day of my life. <gasps> it does. Oh my. Oh my. Guys. This is beautiful oh my god look at these plates these are literally stunning i will not get over it i will be using these like i'm gonna 
I will be using these every day of my life. Oh my god. These are so freaking pretty. I just, wow. I don't think I'll get over those plates though because they're so stunning. Oh. Anyway, um, I have to because now it's time to look at the book, which I am very excited about. Okay, so this is The Book Eaters by Sunny Dean. Love the cover. We do have the stenciling, which is a little bit off-center, but like, it's fine. And, ooh, the end papers. Ooh, wow. We also have this under the dust jacket, kind of like a printed hardback moment. Ooh, and it's signed. I love a good signed book. Hey, is this even focused? Probably not, there we go. Ooh, fun little stars on the chapter headings too. I'm not 100% sure on what the what this book is about but i do think it's about people that eat books so that is like come on that's very interesting the first sentence is all i want to know <laughs> it says out in the yorkshire moors lives a secret line of people for whom books are food and who retain all of a book's content after eating it i will be moving this up on my tbr because that honestly is such a cool concept this is giving me major november vibes um, I will be reading this next month. Like, that sounds so cool. I've never heard of anything with that concept before, so I'm like, wow. These have to be my favorite items. Honestly, I love getting new plates, but I don't think I've ever had plates as pretty as these. Honestly, like, these are exactly my vibe, and I will be using them every day I possibly can. So that is amazing. Honestly, like, these last two boxes that Illumicrate has done have been exactly my vibe. Like, they get it. They are really getting it right now. 10 out of 10 for the September box. I mean, this, love. These, so fun. The book, fascinating. So, um, if you guys don't know, I am an Illumicrate rep. I always forget to mention this in the beginning. So if you want to use my code KD5 for 5% off your three or six month subscription, I will have all of the stuff linked down below. Honestly, if these stunning plates don't convince you, then I don't know it will. You know what I'm saying? Um, anyway, I am here to wrap up the vlog. I'm gonna do it very quickly just because I know this video is already too long, so. In this vlog, I finished Vampire Academy and Frostbite, which both of those books I gave three stars. They're honestly, like, they're fun. You know, I'm really excited to continue this series. I've already read the first couple chapters of, what's the next one? Shadow Kissed? The third book in the Vampire Academy series. And I am so excited to see where it's gonna go. Like it's honestly just a fun, fast read. And that's exactly what I'm looking for right now. Especially with like classes and grades and school and whatnot being at the forefront of my mind at all times right now. It's nice to just sit down with something that's fun and easy to read. So that was like, real thankful for the, for the Vampire Academy series right now. And then I also finished The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin, which I gave four stars. Loved that book so much. I'm so excited to get to Wild as the Witch. Big fan. Also, I did watch Hocus Pocus 2 last night, and if anybody wants my review, it was so fun, honestly. It was just so funny. I love the fact that the cast is just diverse in general, because like, where's the diversity in the first one? There is none. And it was just a really good time. So definitely highly recommend Hocus Pocus 2 if you want a good time. I had such a fun, chill weekend reading my books. No, I did not get to the Wicked Deep. Um, it will happen. It'll happen at some point, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, as always, let me know what you guys are reading right now, or if you have read any of the books that I read in this vlog and you liked them, let me know. Ooh, let's talk about Vampire Academy in the comments. Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? Let's talk about it because I feel like I do have a love-hate relationship with it because it's so fun, but also there's so many aspects that I'm incredibly iffy on, so yeah. Anyway, I feel like, okay, now I'm gonna let you go. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Friday and I will see you in my next video.